Hey friends, welcome back. Today we are going to play with our manifestors and have a conversation about that. Um, it's been coming up a lot uh, in the mentorship, in some of the podcasts that I'm doing. We're talking quite a bit about manifestors. So let's dive into this and help this human design type really flourish in the world. So one of the conversations that I had in our mentorship group was around the repelling aura and how manifestors feel like, because there's this uh, distorted view going out there, that they are no longer, you know, they can't be leaders. They aren't leaders. And that's kind of a, a, a misleading um, misnomer. And let's just play with this. Yes, we we can recognize that there is a huge uptick in our projectors coming into the world. And they really are designed to be leaders and to guide. Now, where we were was in a more efforted way of leadership, meaning it was a more forceful way, because that is the way of the manifester. Now we're going to get to you guys, so so stick with me here. And that forceful momentum created a lot of frustration, but it also built a lot of things. So here we are. Now we're leaning into 2027. And Raw keeps saying that leadership is now going to fall in the hands of our projectors. So let's just explore this a little bit, okay? So how I see this, is the manifestors are designed with that closed and repelling aura. They are designed to be the space-time continuum crack openers. They open up a crack, they open up a space. And inside that space, that is what we would call a creative container. So our manifestors are designed to repel any kind of resistance so that the container can open up, can it, so that it can be built, okay? So now that this container is open, now what you're going to notice is that your builders walk through, through response, ah, that's the correct container for me. So they walk through into the container to build, to be creative inside this creative space. But now what you know is that our projectors are now guiding that builder energy. And they're guiding that builder energy by asking questions to the sacral center so that these manifesting generators and generators, which we call builders, can get in tune with their satisfactory, satisfying, satisfaction that is deep inside that sacral center. When the world gets built through satisfaction, instead of force and effort and frustration, now the creative container feels differently. It has a sensation of satisfaction. So the, the projectors are designed to guide, okay, to guide that energy, ask the question and back off so that that generator manifesting generator can lean into satisfaction and using that sacral correctly. And then we have our reflectors that come in and they step inside. They step inside the container and they reflect back okay, this is going correct, or this is going really wrong. And all they are doing is evaluating the space. They are evaluating how the processes are going. They are evaluating the, the sensation, the feelings, and really helping pe people get more in alignment, okay, through their feedback. They are our feedback loop. That's what a reflector does. They are our, re our feedback loop. So anything in your design that's to that's open, that doesn't have any activation in it, that's your feedback loop. You'll know who's coming in and, and, and how you go out and get experiences. That's your feedback loop. So 
I want you to recognize if you are a manifester or you are guiding or um, coaching or assisting or informing our manifestors, is that you're doing it in a way for, for them to recognize your repelling aura is necessary. Why is it necessary? Well, if we don't have your strength, your strength of aura to remove the resistance so that the creative container can be created and, and, and opened up so that builders, advisors, and reflectors can step through it, we need that. So you still are the first leaning edge, okay? You are always the leading edge. You must be the leading edge to create those spaces for the rest of us. So when people tell you you're not a leader, you're leading differently. You're leading from this new creative energy, creating these original containers, Okay, original containers. That's like, mm -hmm. you guys are so original. You're innovators. You're moving towards, oh, there's a crack there. Let's open it up. Let's create and, and push away the resistance so that the work can be done. Okay. The other thing that's so important is recognizing that the resistance and that repelling that resistance Sometimes it does look like human beings, okay? Sometimes it does look like human beings, but in order for you to uh, move that resistance out of the way, if it's a human being, that is through information. Because um, if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you know that my husband is a manifester. And for a very long time, before human design, he would be like closed-lipped, moving towards his next creative container that he's opening up. And I would step in front, right? Like, what are you doing? What's going on here? Um, because I guess what I really, really desired to know was that, like, um, how am I going to get called into using my builder energy in this process? So once I, once human design bumped into me and, and found me, then now we communicate differently. Now I understand his process differently. I don't have to stop it. He just provides the information. I don't have to ask him a whole bunch of silly questions, trying to get information out of him. And then he knows that he can just ask me to, to walk into that space with him. If it's correct, I will walk into that space with him. If it's not correct, then he can, he can open up that space. And because he's an ego manifester, he does have the willpower and the wherewithal to then create inside of there for himself. So recognizing that that repelling can move human beings out of the way, but you're not repelling people, you're repelling the resistance. And how do you do that? Through information. And recognize that for centuries, manifestors had the capacity to just not speak. They didn't speak because there was this distorted view that if they spoke, that that's when... Um, they would be held back and people would hold them back, which I can totally see because most likely that's happened. Now, why does that happen is because there's such an original energy there for that manifester, the rest of the types can get very suspicious. Oh, what, what, what crack are you going to make in the time space continuum? And am I going to get sucked into it? Or am I going to be able to make my own decision whether or not I want to play a part in it? And most of the time for, for centuries, what happened is that that time-space crack was created and then we all got sucked in and then we got very suspicious and we tried to stop them from creating those containers because it's like, oh, how are we going to get thrust into this? So now our manifestors can recognize information is actually key to creating a, a space where now people actually want to walk in. They're responding to walking into that container. They are invited into that container. They are initiated into that container, okay? 
So that repelling aura is important. It's not that you're repelling people and that you can't attract clients and all of those things that I've been hearing um, through Facebook groups, through my mentorship, all of that is incorrect, okay? Because we all have a magnetic monopole. You guys love that video. Um, I'm going to do some more information on that. But we all have a magnetic monopole. We're all magnetic. It is how our aura is designed. And each one of us has our own particular way that the aura is designed. And for our manifestors, that is a closed container for you so that you have the strength to now repel the resistance. So I've used this analogy a lot. I see manifestors just like Moses. There had to be a movement. There had to be a space created so that the exodus could take place. So Moses had the capacity to repel the seas, to open up a crack in the time-space continuum so that the exodus could take place, okay? And <clears throat> as a manifester, if you lean into that and start to recognize that that's your superpower, repelling spaces so that the creative space can be um, built, okay? So enjoy that. If you guys want to um, lean into the mentorship, self-study and mentorship, and go deep into this material, let me tell you, this is what we do. We do it six times um, a month. You don't have to be in all six of them. There's recordings, of course, but this is where we go. We go to these depths so that the cellular structure can clean out, can have this um, new enlightened, um, you know, or light, I guess I want to maybe just say, like just a light sensation, a light feeling of peace and satisfaction and success and awe can take place. Now, this is open to anybody whether you are a seasoned human design professional um, or a brand new person, the self-study is all inclusive. Everything that I learned from the International Human Design School and the BG5 Business Institute is embedded in that product. And then from there, you have 90 days. You can come into the mentorship. After that, if you choose to stay with us, excellent. If you don't, that's your choice. But what I've seen and what I've noticed is it's the conversation. It's the sharing of the charts. It is the um, deep capacity for my totally open G center, Ajna and head center to, to visualize and move through the process as clients are talking to me and as my mentees are coming in and talking about the stories and sharing, sharing what's going on in their world. There is this visualization and this pure reflection that comes out of that. Now, I just allow it to happen. So if you want to be a part of it, we would love to have you. So come in, join us. Again, you get the self-study and then the mentorship is 90 days. And I built it like that um, for now uh, and, and, and moving that way so that you have all the material that you need to be the most effective human design professional on the planet, okay? So enjoy, uh, manifestors, we, we still need you. <laughs> you are a critical piece in the movement forward. And I cannot wait to see how our manifestors begin to see themselves as these creative container um, creators so that all of the world can be built differently through satisfaction, through peace, success and awe. Thank you very much.